Hello everyone, my name is Ali A and welcome to full Black Ops 2 multiplayer gameplay. This is going to be 10 minutes of sniping footage on Black Ops 2 multiplayer taken from the Gamescom uh, convention in Germany in 2012 this year before the game's released and this is going to be a very casual video just talking to you guys about my experience of playing Black Ops 2 early, what I think about all the new guns, all the new classes, all the new things that are being implemented into Black Ops 2 multiplayer. This gameplay isn't my own, it's from FaZe Wartech, he let me upload this, he's a fantastic guy, really really nice, he's already got a mini Taj of him sniping in Black Ops 2 up on his channel, so if you haven't seen that, head over to his channel, watch the mini Taj, let him know what you think of it and subscribe if you enjoyed his videos. So what we have here is sniping footage with the normal scope and um, of course if you've seen the trailer you'll know that you can actually have the iron sights on this exact gun and that's actually one of the attack attachments. If you haven't seen my Black Ops 2 uh, class video then you won't know about that and check that out and you can have a look at all the attachments and as we can see here Phase War Tech goes ham. He knows what he's doing with a sniper rifle. Uh, so as I said I'm going to talk to you a bit about my experience with Black Ops 2 and multiplayer. I got to play for around 10 hours at Gamescom. Got to meet loads of awesome YouTubers. Got to meet Calyx, KSI, Syndicate Project, loads of other guys, Oli43, uh, and loads of guys behind Activision, the guys that working at Activision, the guys working uh, at Infinity Ward and Treyarch, and it was just awesome to get to meet the guys behind the game that I play and uh, show you guys uh, basically gameplay of on YouTube, but those guys were really, really nice. But um, what we have here is, of course, sniper footage, and uh, from the experience I had with the snipers, is that the initial zoom in time, that sort of first period where you're getting your um, sights on. On the target is very hard to um, do quickly. Uh, it, it, as we can see here, Phase War Tech does it well in some situations, but it is tough to do it consistently. As we know with Treyarch and their Call of Duty games, they're not always for sniping. Uh, sometimes they do make it tougher, but there is actually an attachment on the sniper rifle, which means that the sway on the gun is reduced, which means that it's actually slightly easier to do quick scoping and such if that's the kind of thing you're into. Um, but uh, on all the other guns, there's a different selection of attachments and the attachments basically act as the gun perks in a way so you've got the laser sight which acts as steady aim you've got uh, foregrip which acts a bit like um, a sort of anti-kick or sort of focus-esque uh, attachment um, you also have quick draw as an actual attachment on the uh, assault rifles and the submachine guns as well which is really awesome and uh, again if you haven't seen my class video then I've actually got a really awesome setup which uses select fire on the um, the M8 assault rifle and that is a really big hit. What does it Gamescom uh, it games comes a think a five day event normally Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday yep and uh, the final four days are open to the public and on those four days it's mental there are so many people coming to uh, play these new games but I'm lucky enough I was lucky enough to go on the first day which is a trade or media only day and I got to uh, go straight to the front of queue for Black Ops 2 got to go into the VIP area and uh, play Black Ops 2 for as long as I wanted which was really really awesome I got the the, um, attack dogs or they're now called the K9 uh, units I managed to get the dogs a few times within multiplayer and they were really really good I managed to play multi-team deathmatch which is really really fun and uh, basically just get hands on with everything and give it a go it was really good fun as we can see here the MP7 uh, that is actually the first submachine gun you unlock, or the first submachine gun uh, that was unlocked at the uh, Gamescom event. And I got to try out loads of guns. I got to try out some of the guns you probably wouldn't normally unlock until right at the end of the multiplayer ranking up system. And as we can see here, a bit of pistol action. But we actually got to use the um, final pistol within Black Ops 2 multiplayer. And it was ridiculous. If any of you guys have used the Rafikas from Modern Warfare 2, it was basically the same as that. It was ridiculously strong, but the build of uh, the game for Black Ops 2 that I was playing was the alpha build. So it wasn't even at the beta side yet. It was nowhere near completion. They still need to do some balancing um, issues with the guns, and I'm sure that sidearm will be balanced uh, and weakened a little bit just because otherwise it would be way too strong. But Overall, my experience of Black Ops 2 was a hugely positive one. Um, it felt really, really balanced.
Bounds the game. Uh, the if you haven't seen already my score streak video, um, I was saying how that's probably the best implementation of uh, kill streaks within a Call of Duty game ever. It's really well balanced. If you play the objective in domination, play the objectives in search and destroy, you're going to be getting those kill streaks. And you're going to be rewarded for playing the objective, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want to see. And I'm really look, just basically really excited to play Black Ops 2 again whenever I get another chance. Um, so the recoil on the guns, I guess you guys will want to know what the recoil is like. The recoil is probably, I'd say, between COD 4 style and Black Ops 1 style. It's always going to be more than Modern Warfare 3 since the Infinity Ward games and Modern Warfare games uh, tend to have really low recoil, whereas the Treyarch games tend to be a little tougher, a little bit more of a challenge, which is awesome. I really like that. I really appreciate the fact that Treyarch... Um, you know, it make it a little bit tougher, and uh, it's it's always fun to have a bit of a challenge for sure. So uh, that was awesome as well. Um, I only got to try out four maps. Um, two of the maps I played over and over and over for the first day and a half I was at Gamescom, and the final sort of literally few hours I was actually at Gamescom. I went up to the guys that were controlling my stand. I was like, look. I want to play these other two maps, so I grabbed the controller and uh, switched it to the two maps I hadn't played yet. Not sure if I was supposed to do that, but I actually got a chance to play all the maps that were there, which was really, really awesome. And if you head over to the official Call of Duty channel, I think that's actually a tactical insertion just there behind phase um, there. And if you head over to the official Call of Duty channel, you can watch actually a sort of recap of the Gamescom event, which is awesome if you want to see what, what the whole event was like and the atmosphere there and the pro players that were playing there. That's really, really awesome. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you're unsure what the whole Gamescom uh, event it was all about. But um. Black Ops 2 I'm super excited for, all of you guys asking for zombies, I will be your number one source for zombies as well as multiplayer and any other Black Ops 2 uh, information as well, but zombies they're basically keeping under, under wraps hugely tight, like nobody is telling anybody any information at all. Uh, the likelihood is, my prediction is that we'll get zombies information around early October time, that links in with the um, free piece of... Um, basically the free piece of content you'll get for pre-ordering Black Ops 2 through GameStop and through other retailers. They have a four section, um, basically sort of uh, free piece of content uh, for pre-ordering the game. We've had our August piece of uh, free content which linked back in with the multiplayer reveal this August and I predicted that as well so I'm going to predict that zombies will be around October time. We already know it's going to be eight player zombies but trust me there's going to be so much more. There's no way they'd be Got some peace quick scope in here, it's getting carried away with the gameplay, but there's no way they'd be keeping under wraps if it's, if zombies wasn't going to be um, a really huge deal uh, this year. So it's going to be really, really awesome to see what they do with that. And of course, we've got the um, changeable storyline within the single player of Black Ops 2, which is awesome as well. If you guys hadn't heard much about the single player, and if you in general hadn't seen many of my Black Ops 2 videos, and I've got loads of information spanning back months and months and months, uh, which covers loads of information. If you haven't seen those videos, then they're still worth watching even now. I still cover uh, information that's uh, relevant. I did a uh, creator class video for Black Ops 2, which is still 100% uh, accurate. It was actually released a few months before this, but um, I managed to get information early, so if you're interested in that and definitely check it out as well but the map we're seeing here is very nice I believe it's called Yemen but um, I'm not very accurate with my uh, maps map names because of course these are brand new um, but Yemen I believe is this map name if it's not then feel free to correct me um, but the maps I played, all of them were really, really uh, well balanced. Treyarch always make great multiplayer maps, in my opinion. That's what I think anyway. And um, it'd be really fun to rank up again once I get the game in November. It's coming out November the 13th, of course. Of course and um, going through the ranks and unlocking everything that I was using at Gamescom. Because, of course, I know what I want to use um, when once the game's out. I'm going to have to go through and unlock it. And, of course, if you're not fully aware about the whole creator class system here... Um, we have actually f uh, four or five perks being used and uh, that's because uh, the player here, phase here, is actually using one of the uh, cards which allows you to get an extra perk. You can get an extra attachment to your primary weapon, an extra lethal slot as well. And if you haven't seen that video, then definitely check that out as well. That'll give you more information on, on what's that, what that's all about as well. And we're coming towards the end of the gameplay here, the best thing you can do if you're really excited for multiplayer and have really enjoyed a look 
at sniping and multiplayer for 10 minutes before the games, way before the game's out, the best thing you can do is click the like button and share it with your friends. Share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, tell the guys to come over here and have a look at this gameplay because it is awesome. And uh, that's the best thing you can do. Leave a comment below letting me know what you think of this gameplay, what you're excited for, what you're not so excited for. Maybe you're a bit of a quick scope yourself. Maybe you don't like sniping. Then just leave a comment letting me know what you think. Um, but uh, Phase War Warhog here has done a really good job with getting some awesome footage. And this is coming to the end of the gameplay. I must thank him again for letting me use this gameplay. Feel free to subscribe to him. Feel free to subscribe to me for future content. I'll be keeping you guys up to date with Zombies Multiplayer and single player information until the release on November the 13th. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Super excited to get so much gameplay up on my channel. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed. I hope you have uh, liked watching this video. Hopefully, my commentary has given you some sort of information towards what Black Ops 2 felt like, what it was like to play early. So cheers for watching guys, hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video.